three weeks after purchasing the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, it's finally here. But first, we gotta clean up the desk. The dirty desk. Boom. And we need to put some space for the old laptop to be put in. It'll be put over there, rearranged. I also bought a Rain Design M stand. I used to have the iLab. I like that a lot. It's already bent beyond repair. So I got this as a replacement for the new laptop. The iLab will remain with the old MacBook Pro. I'll be using this with a keyboard and mouse. So let's put it on our desk. Hmm. Now let's get the MacBook Pro out of the bag. I don't have a GoPro, so I'm taking it out with just one hand, which is not so easy. There's the magic keyboard. And of course, it's gotta be black. Okay. Let's take the lid off. And take the laptop out. Alright, let's see what's inside. No more extension cable. A pity. This is the 96 watt charger. I was trying to show the 96 watt written on it. And then there's a USB-C cable. Along with that, I bought a J5 Create Ultra Drive Kit with potentially 11 connections. There it is. Main reason why I bought it was because it had the 100 watt power delivery, which you need if you want to power the 16 inch. Here, I'll be using the ultra drive with the ethernet connector so that I can use Ethernet to transfer the files from the old Mac to the new Mac. Wi-Fi will be much slower. Now, let's plug it up. Now, let's open up the black magic keyboard. You need to slide it out of the box. And then peel off the protective covering. There you go. And it comes with the black lightning cable. Yay for that. So let's have a look. There's the power button. There's the antenna. I was looking for the lightning port. As it turns out, it was covered by my hand. So let's charge it, charge it up, but unfortunately it comes with the USB-A port in a Mac that's fully USB-C. But never mind, that's why we bought the adapter. So now let's plug it in into the keyboard for the charging as well as for the setup. So I bought this 
a few weeks ago to go along with everything else the Logitech MX Master 3 I love the mouse so let's continue with this setup and open up the laptop it was already open previously so the setup process was uh, already started so we gotta select the language and then the region So, I like to put American as the preferred language, but you can't, probably because of the location that I've already set. So for the input sources, I do put Arabic as one of the choices because sometimes I do a little bit of, a, of Arabic typing. Again, preferring American English for Siri. Let's set up Migration Assistant. Oops. I thought I plugged in the power correctly. Turns out it wasn't deep enough. So now let's set up Migration Assistant. So you have to turn it on on this laptop as well as on the old one. So you can see here the old laptop with the broken screen. And the way that I tell what's going on is by hooking it up to a cheap TV that I bought few years er few years earlier. Okay. So now we're setting up migration assistant on the old laptop. And of course, we're going to transfer the data to the new one. Okay, so now the old laptop is already discovered by the new one. So, it's asking for an update. I decided to do update. And this one, of course, took a little while. So in the meantime, I decided to make a new batch of cold brew coffee. With the new coffee grinder that I purchased probably a day ago. So I'm still experimenting the settings to get the amount of coffee right as well as the grind. Before this, I used a manual grinder. It takes me about 30 minutes to do a batch to grind everything by hand. Well, now I don't have 30 minutes. Oh, 
Oops. I think I made a mistake there. I forgot to open up the container to receive the grinds. So, a little bit spilled out. But unfortunately, I also made a bit of a mistake there where I didn't push it all the way. And you'll see later on, a little bit, a little bit of the grinds still spilled out. I'm still learning. Learning how to set it up, learning how to set the correct settings to make what I did earlier with the manual grinder. So maybe you can see there, there's a little bit of spillage. I'll remember next time. So let's continue on with the setup. So now the computer is rebooting after the updates. A long way to go. And further reboots. Okay, now we're heading somewhere. Now we're back to the previous step. And it's still asking for an update. This time I'm skipping. It's already, already like 1 something in the morning. Okay. So let's continue on with the transfer. Set the password. Okay, agree to the terms and conditions. And there you go. The process definitely had more than a minute remaining. Okay, even more items processed. Definitely more than a minute remaining. Okay, the transfer the transfer starting. Three hours. Time for me to take a nap. Which I did. All right, it's done. The migration's complete. Put in the password. And there you go. That's the unboxing.